Shalom. Shalom. We want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakudash. Devil on the city of apostles, the devil on the city of the great millstone, and salutations to you, walking that are teaching the truth and society across the four corners of the earth. Uh, today's lesson we want to get into is how the Lord will keep you in all your ways um, if you are as called and chosen. Now, we men of the Lord uh, doing the work of the Lord, we're hoping every day that the Lord keep us in his ways because it's easy out here to be filled with the spirit of pride, to be filled with the uh, folly spirits, to be filled with the uh, envious spirit um, you know just get caught up in this world and that's what you don't want but the Lord will keep you even if you do stumble as a matter of fact before you get that scripture I'm going to open up with uh, Psalm 73 because like Apostle Bar and all the elders say um, you your own worst enemy mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Psalm chapter 73 verse 26, my flesh, it's like, I'm going to start from 25. Whom have I in heaven but thee? This is King David. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. Because King David, he was after the Lord's heart. Verse 20, 26, my flesh and my heart fell it. Remember Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 says uh, the heart is, is, is wicked above all things. Mm -hmm. Who should know it? But at the same time, the Lord died for the elect's sake. And what he said, he said the Holy Spirit, he was sent to give us the understanding. First through our apostles because the scriptures say we should see our teachers. Read on, it says, my flesh and my heart fell. So your heart and your flesh, it'll, it'll fell against you. you. You may go off and, you know, you may not intend to go off. But then, you know what I'm saying, you, you remember then the Lord, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you repent and, 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 you know, go harder again. to seek the Lord ten times uh, more. But then to Satan to be messing with your flesh. Mm hmm we you know it says, but Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So that's the Lord keeping us in, 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 uh, uh, in, in his, in his uh, refuge, mm -hmm. in our ways. Because like, like King David said, his own flesh and heart filled him. Remember when he committed adultery with uh, uh, Bathsheba? You know, killed the Jake that was in his army for her. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the Lord had mercy on him. He, you know, because the Lord said, uh, King David has an everlasting mercy. Well, the Most High has an everlasting uh, mercy for King David. Mm -hmm. But you go ahead on that uh, scripture. Uh, Second Thessalonians, right? Yeah, three, three. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this is Second Thessalonians 3 and 3. But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. Mm. So the Lord is going to keep us from evil. And these people out here uh, got certain devices in their minds and we may just cross their paths. We don't know them from a can of paint, but at the same time, the Lord just keep us from those headline article news about Jake getting gunned down or Jake gunning down a, a whole apartment complex for a woman or fatal, any fatal car accidents, fatal car accidents, um, just anything, man, that's wicked or that may be harmful to you. The Lord keep us from that. Mm -hmm. The Lord keep us from ourselves, because we constantly get uh, exhort by brothers. You know, you approve your own self, you examine yourself. Um, you, you you know you fast you you. Uh, get rebuked by brothers. So that's that's really the Lord looking out for you. Even though it may um, seem like it's, like it's, uh, cause people in the world are weak, man. Mm -hmm. And you'll find out that you have been weak too for that long. Somebody get on you about something. Even when you didn't mean to, but at the same time, 
you know, that's the chastisement of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a spiritual chastisement instead of a fleshly. Mm -hmm. But that's the Lord keeping you um, um, even in your own ways. Because you go off, but at the same time, the Lord is keeping you. And that's protection. Mm -hmm. right oh, I think that was it. I'm good. Okay, come on. You, you got something? Yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah, this is... um. Psalms, Psalms chapter 23, verse 1. Mm. Yahweh yes. Bashim Yahweh Shah is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, even though, you know, we catch certain hell and, you know, go through certain things, um, you know, on the flesh. You know, in this uh, in this earthly realm, so to speak, you know, it's really just like you know, the captain's going into. It's really just Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, um, just molding us, man, molding us and making us stronger, and really and really leading us down the path that He has already preordained for our for our particular lot and our particular lives, and we're doing it. And the beauty and the the the, the good thing about you know. Um, Certain chastisement things that happen for us individually is we, un we we should have a certain level of understanding and why of why we're doing it. We're doing it for like the scriptures say for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's namesake. Come, um, and how you restoring us too is with these scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, you rethink them in your head. You know, you, you rethink. Oh man, did I do a video today, or what did I go into that can be edified towards my spirit and that I may. Branch it out to, to, to the listeners and followers that may be a hopefully lit. All type of ways, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord restores. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah, this is the last verse. Um, it's the Psalms 23 and 4. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So, you know, with America being the valley of the shadow of death, you know, for, for Jacob, for people out here, Judgment, you know, happens on a constant, constant basis, man. You know, like, like we're going to, whether it be, you know, a fatal car accident, you know, certain diseases, certain pestilences, you know, uh, you know, sexually transmitted diseases, all types, you know, all types of things, you know, ways in which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has ways to to bring upon his judgment. And, um, you know, judgment isn't, you know, who's, no one's judged being innocent. You know, you know, these judgments and things happen because for a particular reason you know but um you know even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death man you know being america we have no need to fear we have no need to fear because even like king david said yahweh shah his rod and his staff are with us man you know the holy the uh the uh the holy scriptures you know and uh the holy spirit you know are, you know are ways in which yahweh shah can can actively uh uh like, like the, the title of the lesson can actually uh, uh, keep us uh, uh, in, in, in all of our ways, man. You know, because we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, especially with us uh, being in the service and being in the ministry. We trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to actually keep us keep us in this uh, this wicked society. Yep. That was it, bro. Con, that was on point. Uh, John chapter 10, verse uh, 16. It says, And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they should hear my voice. And there should be one fold and one shepherd. That's talking about how Shai came over here in the Western Hemisphere to the 10 tribes. Because all the 10 tribes didn't stay over there in the land of Jerusalem um, during the Roman captivity. They moved during the Assyrian captivity. It goes to show you that the Lord is still keeping us, mm -hmm. even if we move to the uttermost parts of the world. Verse 17. Therefore doeth my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it up that I might take it again. Verse 18, no man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received. Now I'm gonna go down to uh verse 28. Well, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Verse 28. 
and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Now that's going into the Lord keeping the elect. You know what I'm saying? No matter what type of walk of life the elect don't walk through, the Most High is going to keep them. You know, the Most High is going to keep you if you are his chosen and called. Mm -hmm. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Mm -hmm. uh, verse um, 29, my father which gave them me, see, it, it was the Most High that gave Yahweh Shai the elect. So the father approves everything that Yahweh Shai has done, laying, laying down his life and taking it up again. And in um, dealing with the elect, how he deals with the elect. Um, my father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Mm. See? No man is able to pluck them out of the heavenly father's hand. So the Lord is going to keep you if you are of the elect. But first, you got to seek repentance. You got to uh, study to show thyself approved. Because um, we just rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts. But at the same time, uh, you don't want to utterly fall away from the Heavenly Father. Because the Lord said if you fall away from his commandments, you're you going to die. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You said you, uh, what you want, Isaiah? Uh, you call for Isaiah? I thought you uh, wanted something for Isaiah. I thought it was a precept you wanted earlier. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Um, I don't got nothing right now for the moment. Okay, come But You can give me um, Psalms 91, verse 1. Come on. Come on. Psalms 91, verse 1. All right, this is uh, Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm. And what's the secret place? These scriptures. Because a lot of people, um, they, they go to uh, the cops for protection. They go to uh, their brother-in-law or, or a gun or um, you know something that uh, people know about. But we have something that's on a whole other level that people don't know about. Mm -hmm. But they claim to know about it, though. And it's the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shah, who the world ultimately calls God and Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This is this is the secret place that we go to for protection. And the Lord protects us. Go ahead. I will say of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Yeah. And how we trust in him by knowing the name. Because his name is a stronghold. Just like you got uh, the Atlanta Police Department. That's a title. Mm -hmm. People run to that for protection. Or people run uh, to the government, like the government shutdown, asking Donald Trump for what? For food, for protection. So they won't get put out of their house or their possessions getting snatched away from them. But that's the same way by knowing the Lord. You know, even though we're in his flesh and people can't see the Lord, but it, the Lord said he's an invisible power. In Colossians chapter 1, the Lord um, made the things that are visible. Mm -hmm. Plus, he even got scriptures represent, um, we're really showing proof that he, he's uh, real because he even, he even gave a uh, fourth saying about the fool said in his heart there is no God because mm -hmm. they don't physically see him. Well, his son came down, and they have ancient uh, proof that he existed. But at the same time, here it is, Esau, he paints the picture that the Lord is not real, that it's a Big Bang Theory. No, the Lord is real. And the only ones that's going to know that is his called and chosen. Mm -hmm. So we've been in this secret place. We have a greater uh, chance of making it throughout this whole destruction that's about to take place. World War Three martial law, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. They already made a law. They already passed the bill behind it in Arkansas. And well in uh, Wisconsin, really, it's, it's, it's worldwide because New World Order is about to come down. Reason being because it's prophecy. Mm -hmm. And we, knowing these times, Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, goes into us knowing the secret things of the Lord and how we're going to be safe 
by knowing his word, which which is a secret to the which is a secret to the world. Mm -hmm. You got it up. Sorry. I'm gonna continue on. This is Psalms 91 and 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And that's talking about the noisy pestilence. It's talking about the uh, the war weapons, the nuclear uh, uh, missiles. And and his wings is talking about the chariots. See, when those noisy uh, missiles come over here and, and, and create it during Lake of Fire, uh, which if you people have been in the lake, you know the lake is mad, it's, it's vast and deep. That's how much fire is going to come from these, or how many missiles are going to come over here and destroy this place. But while that's happening, we're going to get beamed up in chariots, safe under his wings from this destruction. You got it, Slack. Uh, that was it on that. Okay. I'm going to go to uh, Deuteronomy 28. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 28. I'm sorry, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of uh, thy Lord, the Lord thy power to observe and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. So, you know, all, all these blessings and um, covenants are going to actually overtake us, you know, in which that'll be, once again, continuation of Yahweh Shah establishing our ways, you know, because if something overtakes you, it's really out of your control. It's really that force or that energy really just taking you captive so to speak right. i'm gonna jump down uh this deuteronomy 28 i'm gonna start uh read verse 9 yahweh shimmy how shy shall establish thee a holy people unto himself as he have sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the lord thy power and walk in his ways so really us really walking it walking into and receiving the the blessings the covenants you know the promises the kingdom it's all through our um um obedience it's all through our obedience and being uh really just accepting the will of yahweh shai in which that's us really embracing the spirit of um us embracing the spirit of trying to be perfect perfect in the spirit you know why by us actually trying to walk a perfect or blameless life, so to speak, knowing that we're going to fall short, but it's, it's about the effort of things. By us trying to do that, it's going to get to a point that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is going to actually make it possible and, and, and pretty much establish the fact that we're going to be a perfect people because Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is going to um, claim us back fully as his people. Yep. So that's that, the adoption. Go ahead. Kind of, no, it's like, so that would be the... The full the fullness of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai establishing us in all our ways because we're gonna be a reflection of him uh when the kingdom kingdom is established. Yeah, that's John three and three. We should be like him that's 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 gonna crack from clouds. I got a scripture. This is first Peter chapter three verse uh I'm going to start at uh, verse 10. But he that would love life and see good days, let him reframe his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. And that's what the brother was just breaking down. You know, we, we embrace the truth to the best of our ability and walk in, walk in the Lord's ways. Pursuing to Judges chapter 5, verse 11, rehearsing the righteous acts, although we're in his wicked flesh. And that's what some people can't grasp. Hell, even even me in experience, I had to grasp like, man, man, we can we can actually be perfect, you know, as how white how shy, but we're in this flesh, you know. And mm -hmm. only the Lord can see our end, whether we be the chosen. But striving there is like making us perfect. Verse twelve, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. So like verse eleven, let him eschew evil and do good. 
Let him seek peace and ensue it. Verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. So when we pray to the Heavenly Father, the Lord hear our prayers, even in our darkest moments, man. Whether we uh, repent from the sins or feel that we ain't worthy, the Lord see that, man. The Lord see us fighting. Uh, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Verse 13, and who is he that will harm you? If he be followers followers of that which is good, see. So that's that's the Lord keeping us in our ways, man. That narrow straight road, because you be thinking like, damn, you know. I'm, I was about to say, it's like we gotta be people, guardians or, 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 or the bigger person, so to speak, in the world, because people get their way a lot, especially mm -hmm. if they are of this world, because scripture say. The world love is on. You know what I'm saying? The world don't love us. That's why we get treated like we, we're the off we the off scars of the world. We get treated lowly. You know, we you know, even when we ain't, you know, you know, uh thinking, you know, you know, you can be thinking lowly, you know, not thinking lowly of yourself, but you know, you just in a humble state, you know. Because you're thinking on the scriptures. You know, the scriptures just keep you on the streets. Like, man, what can I think about that's good? I mean, you do your thing like, you know, taking care of responsibilities. You got hobbies and stuff like that. But it still ain't fulfilling. Mm -hmm. You know, that's this 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 uh, word is fulfilling. You know, even if the Lord got to drag you through the mud <laughs> to make you understand. Because some, some men, the Lord got to chastise or deal with more. But long as that man... Is not of a doubtful dispensation, meaning you just doubt the Lord totally and you just do your own thing. Uh, verse 13, it says, uh, And who is he that will harm you if he be good, but if he be followers of that which is good? But and if ye suffer for righteous sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Yeah. John chapter 14, the Lord said, be ye not troubled. You believe in the heavenly Father, believe also in me. That's why we pray in the name Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, why Makar Kodash, the Holy Spirit. Uh, reading on, it says, but sanctify the Lord power in your hearts, no matter where you at. Just, just think upon the Lord. You know, even when you you know, you're just out and about, you know, because we ain't 100% in the spirit all the time, but we know the Lord, you know, we we got hit with that uh that mark, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4, the Lord will, the Lord see us, or deem us as worthy to receive salvation, but that mark is this, this word, and once it hits you, and the Lord opens up your ears to his, listen, and you commit to it, then, hey, it is always with you. So it says, but sanctify the Lord power in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Yeah, people may come up on the highways and byways or on the common board, you know, um, asking us questions about the truth that they don't know about. Or, you know, they may see us on the video and be like, yo, you know, you really believe in that or why you got the beard? You know, that's part of keeping the law, statutes, commandments or doing righteousness and you're like yo you know it's part of the law mm -hmm. you know um yeah that, that's all i got on that i got something real quick okay this is revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou because thou has kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth you know, because we actually believe in and we invest and we keep in, you know, this is our hope. You know, the, the, the word, the Holy Scriptures, it's our hope, you know, and why we do everything, you know. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh and this is written in red, so Yahweh Shah is saying because we have kept the word and we've embraced this, the, the, the spirit of patience that comes with this walk, you know. He said he will also keep us from the hour of temptation. So, you know, by us embracing Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, establishing our ways now when things aren't 
so hot, so to speak, as far as, you know, judgment coming down as far as, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, judging the entire, the entire world, you know, the most high, Lord willing, the most high is going to continue to uh, put that spirit on us to establish our ways when all hell breaks loose, man. You know, you know, it's going to be death, you know, happening at an alarming rate all, and, and just crazy types of, you know, you know, judgment of death. It ain't gonna just be like no regular type of death. It's gonna be you gonna see some some wild stuff out here, man. You know, pestilence. When you know, once again, famine. You know, people you're gonna see people uh, taking the, the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip. You know, you so you might even see men that you you know uh, were doing the work with losing the bug out or you know get put to death. You know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But because we embrace this spirit of um, obedience now, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to keep us in the hour of temptation, you know. Uh, this is Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of, the, of my power, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from the Most High, and I will write upon him my new name. You know, because we're really hoping and fighting to be the elect, man. You know, we're hoping and fighting to be the 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 ones to, to be the pillars of our nation, man. You know, in which um, the pillars going to, you know, be those uh, support systems to hold up our nation during, uh, you know, judgment, but also going to be the, 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 a continuation of the foundation, which Yahweh Shah being the foundation, and we use the word to, to build, be the pillars to actually uh, help rebuild our, 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 our nation, uh, continuing on to the kingdom, man. Yeah. I got I got a couple of scriptures. Okay, yeah, that's all I got. Okay, come on. John chapter 15, verse 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he should testify of me. And ye also should bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. So it's talking about the elect uh, being sealed with that word by the Holy Spirit. And how the Holy Spirit is going to give us through, give it to us through the teachers, our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Because that's how you're going to get it anyway. You're not going to get this word by yourself. But that's the Lord keeping us in our ways. And in his ways. Mm -hmm. Versus, um, but yeah, you, what? Keep yeah, us in his ways. But Lord willing, that's synonymous. Lord willing, our ways are the ways of the Most High. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're of right. Spirit. That's, that's what we're aiming for. Yep, you're right. Yep, yep. That's, that, uh, that's why we walk through the, the uh, straight and narrow road. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. I mean, chapter 16. It's like I'm going to jump down to verse uh, 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter would not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. That's the Lord's uh, unsealing the seven seals written in Revelations. I think around ch chapter 5 or chapter 6. Because when he unsealed the seal that Daniel sealed, which is this word, mm -hmm. he unsealed the understanding, the mysteries, the secrets of, this, of these scriptures. And one of, one of it is that you know that you're an Israelite, mm -hmm. the basis. Mm -hmm. You know you know that you're an Israelite. You know that the color of the Lord. Uh, you know that um, that Esau is, is the so-called white man pursuant to how we learn from our teachers. And then you back it up with research because you talk about the Grecians and, and Joel that sold us. You know, Tyree, the Hamites that sold us in the Atlantic slave trade and Arab slave trade. How the uh, elders broke, break it down to us. Oh, the different tribes in Genesis chapter 49 mm -hmm. about Jacob uh, prophesying to our uh, forefathers of what's going to happen to them in the last days. Mm -hmm. Really talking about us in the last days. So that's the Lord sending that comfort to, uh, to which, which is the Holy Spirit um, uh, 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 from heaven to, to give us these words. And we stole the Holy Spirit on our, on our teachers, our apostles. That's why we say in the name, that's why we say Yahweh Bashim Yahushua Bashim Rakar Kadash. And the Rakar Kadash is the Holy Spirit. Reading on, it says, And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin 
and of righteousness and of judgment. And that's what we that's what we learn, and that's what we do on the highways and byways, as our teachers showed us. Teachers so showed us. And how we can abstain from sin and, and teaching our people that. And, and casting down this uh, stronghold in this world. And of righteousness and of judgment. Verse 9, of sin because they believe not on me. Talking about the uh, uh, nation of Israel. Verse 10, of righteousness because I go to my father and ye see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. And who, who is the prince of this world? It's like, I'm going to jump back to verse 10. Because it is righteousness that the Lord be up there. Because he's he's like a, a, a lawyer for us. He's, he's a mediator for us. He's a, he's a medium for us. Because we just can't go straight to the Heavenly Father and pray no more. Like we used to before Yahweh Shah came on the scene like our forefathers. The Lord ain't dealing with us no more like that. Because Yahweh Shah was a sacrifice. Verse 11 of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. And that's talking about Esau, the so-called white man. Like it says in Job chapter 9 verse 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Now you got Esau in these courtrooms uh, 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 duplicating like he's, the, like he's the judge. Like he's a, he's a real righteous judge, mm -hmm. which he's not. Right. He's wicked. Um, I have not, well, it's like it. That's it on that. That's 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 the Lord keeping us in uh, in His ways because, matter of fact, is uh, Ephesians chapter two talk about the prince of the air, which is Satan, but Satan is working through Esau, and he's and he's um, causing the confusion and the wickedness in the earth right now. Everything he says goes. Mm -hmm. That's why he can Donald Trump can set sanctions on other nations and stuff like that. Do they uh, from from um, casting down. This fiat currency and building up their currency back and by gold, like China, Russia, Libya. The way they do to Gaddafi, he murdered him on, on national TV. Well, on live TV, it's like not national, but live TV. That's him being that wicked judge, but the Lord already judged him. So when the Lord come back, that's it. That's why they got this third world war coming. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's all I got. I got something real quick. This is Galatians chapter 5. Um, I'm sorry, verse 24. And they that are Hamashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. Mm. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So we, you know, it's it's a continual thing, man. You know, as far as, like, you know, we always say we're not, we're not perfect, but we're made perfect through what? We're made perfect through the sacrifice of our Messiah, Yahweh Shai. You know, so if we, if we, um, let me read that. That's Galatians chapter 5. Verse 25, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So, you know, we actually partake of these living waters and we actually putting this spirit into our vessel. You know, we have to carry it with us continually, man. Yep. You know, and, and and that does what? That allows you how Bashim, how was shy, you know, Bashim, uh, <clears throat> um, Bashim, to uh, lead. And direct you on your path and establish your ways. Yep. That's all I have, bro. God, yeah, that, that's all I got on that too. And 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 that, that's right with the brother saying because we're saved by grace. Through grace we are saved, and that's the Lord keeping us in His ways. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's all we got, Akim. So hope you brothers was edified through the spirit of Yahweh mm Hashem. We shout by Hashem called Kadash. So with that we're gonna say. All praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem,